Vasubandhu's treatise states, O world-honored one, with the mind that is single, I take refuge in the Tathagata of unhindered light filling the ten quarters, and aspire to be born in the land of peace and happiness. World-honored one is the general epithet of all Buddhas. In regard to their wisdom there is nothing that is beyond their understanding. When we speak of their power of severing passions, there is not even a trace of residue in them. Possessed of both wisdom and the power of severing passions, they benefit the world, and so they are revered by all people. This is why they are called world-honored one. Bodhisattva Vasubandhu, in the age of the semblance dharma, followed the teaching of the sutra left by Sakyamuni. Thus he aspired to be born in the pure land and his aspiration is based on the teaching expounded in the sutra. Therefore, we can know that the word world-honored one refers to Sakyamuni. If I take its implication, I find no problem in using world-honored one for all Buddhas. Generally, a bodhisattva takes refuge in a Buddha, just as filial children obey their parents and loyal retainers follow their rulers. With their behavior not self-centered, and their acts always according with reason. Since the Bodhisattva is aware of the Buddha's benevolence and responds in gratitude to the Buddha's virtue, he naturally addresses the Buddha first. Moreover, Vasubandhu's aspiration is not undertaken lightly. How could it ever be fulfilled without the support of the Tathagata's majestic power? Here, Vasubandhu entreats the Tathagata to lend his majestic power. Hence, he reverently addresses him, saying, O world-honored one. <laughs>